Welcome to Life Devotions, and thank you for joining me today. This is the victory. Our faith is the title of this devotion. Here in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, it says, For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. The faith that you have received as a gift from God through Jesus Christ, this faith is a gift of God. And without faith, it's impossible for us to live in His pleasure. By faith, we live, the Bible says, the just shall live by faith. Now, this faith is something God has given you. Without God giving His word and fulfilling it, there would be no basis to trust. But God has given everything for you and me to trust. And He gives that trust into your heart because faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. And you receive faith. The Bible says in Hebrews 12, Jesus is the author and perfecter of faith. And by this faith, we can live victorious in this world. And one of the examples that I personally feel inspired by is right here in Genesis chapter 5, verse 21. Listen to this. Enoch lived 65 years and begot Methuselah. After he begot Methuselah, listen closely, Enoch walked with God 300 years, had sons and daughters, so all the days of Enoch were 365 years, and Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. And this I find so inspiring, dear friends. You can walk with God every day. He walked with God 300 years. Now, I am still young. I'm, I'm not even 65 yet. And I know, however many more years the Lord grants me, I can walk with Him. And I can trust Him that He walks with me. Oh, He walks with me and He talks with me and He tells me I am His own. And the joy I share as we tarry there none other has ever known that old hymn oh i love that old hymn oh friends it is one of the greatest pleasures that we can walk with our loving heavenly father through this life this is the victory my dear friends our faith it was it says here in hebrews 11 verse 5 by faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and he was not found <clears throat> because God had taken him for before he was taken he had the testimony that he pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please him for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I find the greatest reward is not just what awaits me in the presence of the Lord, but by what He gives me every day through the knowledge of Himself that I may walk with Him in my own home, with my own children, with my own dear wife, with my grandchildren, and with the people here in Life Church, and with all my dear friends and brothers and sisters around the world, and with you, I can walk with God today. Oh, dear friends, there's nothing more wonderful. I remember reading a book by Smith about Smith Wigglesworth. I don't think Smith Wigglesworth himself read, wrote any books, but people have taken uh, uh, his teachings and put it in writing and so forth. And I remember reading this one book about him one time, that this man came to see Smith Wigglesworth, who lived in Bradford in this country, a phenomenal man of God. Apostle of the Lord and and they went for a walk together I remember this they went for a walk together and as they walked about 15 minutes later Smith said just one moment as they were talking and he began to pray oh father my father I'm 
worship you. And he began to talk to God. And Smith loved to talk, pray in tongues. And he began to pray in tongues. And out of that tongues came the revelation, understanding into his spirit. And he would talk in, with God for a few minutes. And then he would say to the man, okay, I feel better now. Now where were we? And they would continue talking. He talked, walked with God as he talked with man. How I believe this is important for us all, that we walk that we talk with man as we walk with God, that we walk with God as we talk with man. Look here what it says in Genesis 17. When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said to him, I am almighty God. I am El Shaddai, all sufficient, capable of being all that you need. Again, I am El Shaddai, which means all sufficient, capable, of being all that you need. I am almighty God. Walk before me and be blameless. Now, in 1998, God spoke that word into my spirit, somewhere in January or February. He spoke that word to my spirit and it was actually in trying time, a tempting time, a testing time in my life. And God spoke that word into my spirit. That scripture came up to me as if God spoke it direct to me. And I am so grateful that despite the trying and testing I was going through in those days, that word has stayed with me and stayed with me and stayed with me. And that it is my greatest delight day and night to walk with my father. I love it when I wake up usually at three in the morning, I wake up for a moment, I go to the toilet and I'm thinking and talking and I love that. Father, thank you for loving me. Usually is what comes to my thoughts. Father, thank you for loving me. Father, I worship you and I praise you and I go back to sleep for a little while. You see, dear friends, Walking with God is not just you yielding and yearning for Him, but it is Him yielding and yearning for you. It is you living in that sweet harmony with the loving Heavenly Father. And you know, it says this about dear Abraham as he walked with God. Look at it in Hebrews chapter 11, verse... Um, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 24. Now, just a moment. Verse uh, 14. Now, those who say such things declare plainly that they seek a homeland. And truly, if they had called to mind that country from which they had come out, they would have had opportunity to return. This talking about Abram and Sarah. But now they desired a better, that is a heavenly country. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. Abraham was a man who was given vision and revelation about what God was building. And he had a vision for it, for his own family, that in his seed, all the peoples of the earth would be blessed, that his seed would be called sons of God, that, that, that the multitudes of what God would work through his seed would be as the stars of heaven in the sand by the seashore. It says it here, for one man, verse 12, and him as good as dead were born as many as the stars of the sky in multitude innumerable as the sand which is by the seashore. Abraham had this vision of what God was building, what God was working, and that was his faith. He lived by faith in God. He walked by faith in God. He was looking for it. <clears throat> and listen to me. <coughs> Abraham could have turned back from that living by faith, walking by faith, having visions by faith. He could have turned back from that to the world he came from if he looked back, it says there. If he looked back, he would have had opportunity 
to return to the life he had, not in this faith. But Abraham did not look back. He steadfastly kept looking to the city whose maker and builder is God, to the future that God had predestined him to, and his seed and his children. And this I want to charge you with today. Don't let this faith by which you live in victory in this world ever grow weak in your heart. No, rather let it grow strong. It says in Romans chapter 4, verse 17 through 20, that Abraham wasn't weakened through unbelief, but rather strengthened through faith, fully convinced and persuaded that what God had promised him, he was able to perform and it was accounted him for righteousness. There was a sense of his rightness with God because he had faith by which he walked through this earth. He had faith in God. And friends, for me, most of the time when the enemy pushes me that I'm mere human and that I'm weak and powerless and that I can do nothing, and it's so true, I am weak, I am powerless, I am just a mere human being. I can do nothing of myself, yet by faith I can do more than the strongest, most powerful, because it's not I doing it, but my Father in me. And I then say in my heart when I have those feelings of weakness, Father, I believe, Father, I believe, and I keep believing, I keep believing, and here comes that life that comes through faith through this weak vessel, and I know that the life that I have in this flesh is not my own, it's the life of my loving Heavenly Father, and that same life is with you and in you and will never leave you, and He Himself will give you the victory. Amen? Have a good day.